Hello guys! I will make it the best view on the world for my friends, alright? Hello people! I hopefully if you decide to come to Dominican Republic, you take Majestic Resort as your destination. We wait for you here. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, welcome to the beautiful Majestic Mirage here in Putacana. In this video, we're going to take a walking tour and show you what the grounds are like. One thing you should know about this place is that it's very walkable. You don't need a tram or a golf cart to get around. So let's uh, come walk with me and we'll show you what to expect. Now when you first arrive, you'll be greeted by the staff, the very friendly staff. And um, we'll give you a hot towel and direct you to where to go to check in. And the place to check in actually is to the right. Uh, this is for the adults and for the, I guess, the club members. And go right around this way and walk right through those glass doors. See, what you're seeing is the check-in area and while you're waiting to check in if you're thirsty and hungry just walk right around to the side and you'll find coffee some snacks that you can uh, help yourself to quench that thirst after your long flight and there's plenty of soft drinks and of course water and then after you check in, they'll assign you a butler who will walk you to your room. So let's go out and take a look at the resort now. So when you leave check-in, you'll come out to the uh, grand lobby, which is the upper lobby. And to the right, you'll find the upper lobby bar right over here. Now this bar is a craft cocktail bar. And uh, they have some really great, great cocktails that they make. We've been here a number of evenings and enjoyed it. So uh, def definitely come up here and try it at least once. Now, when you leave the upper lobby bar, just walk towards the grand staircase area and look over the rail. And what you'll see is the main bar. And you can see it's in a very large lobby area with open windows looking out to the resort. Now let's go down the stairs and let's take a look down there. So I have to say, if this isn't impressive, I'm not sure what is. Now when you walk down the stairs, you'll find the lower lobby bar, which is the main bar of the resort. And on that level is where you'll find some of the restaurants. Now on this level, you'll find three of their restaurants. And I'd recommend trying all of them when you come here. Let's take a look back here and I'll show you. So behind me is the Italian restaurant. And in the evening, this area is a martini bar. And they make some great martinis here. Definitely check it out. And right next to it, you'll find the hibachi grill and also the sushi restaurant. And let's continue to the left here and you'll find the French restaurant. Now we'll do a dedicated video all about the restaurants and show you our experience when we go to each of them. Now let's walk out front of the main lobby bar and get a better feel for the resort. So I'm facing the main lobby bar and to the right is the buffet, the main buffet. To the left, is the plaza courtyard. So let's walk over to the main buffet and take a quick look inside. And this main buffet is called the Marketplace. So this is a buffet, and this is the main buffet, and you can get three meals a day here, breakfast, lunch, and supper. Breakfast is really good. This is our main place to go to when we come for breakfast, and we really enjoy it. They have a great selection. Staff is always friendly, and a uh, great place to start your day. And the coffee here is amazing. Now let's take a walk over to the main plaza and see what's going on there. Now we really like the main plaza and this is kind of where we hang out in the evening. Let me show you why. Well first they have lights up here so it's really inviting.
and in the early evening they have vans right up here. Which go on to about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock roughly. And you can have table service out here. And then each night around 9, 9.30 they have a show and they're pretty good. And again, this is right off of the plaza. And this is where the shows take place every evening. And it's a different show every night. And there's more around the perimeter of the plaza. You'll find shops, great coffee shop, food, a gym. Let me show you. The coffee shop off the plaza is a real gem. They have all sorts of coffees, cakes, and even sandwiches during the day. It was the go-to place to get a cup of coffee and some pastries or a piece of cake. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> now, right next to the coffee shop, you'll find several shops as well as a sports bar and grill. And in the corner by these stairs is a drugstore. If you need a little Imodium, Pepto-Bismol, this place should have it. But there's more. Let's head upstairs. Upstairs you'll find a great gym, the photography shop, and an excursion office. So that's everything to see around the plaza. So let's walk downstairs and show you the rest of the resort. So before we walk through the rest of the resort, let me show you the map give you an idea of how this resort is set up. There are two rows of buildings. The darker buildings on the bottom right, those are the family buildings. Buildings one and two are the family buildings, buildings three and four are for adults, and up top, buildings five, six, and seven are also adults only. So just to recap, on the left here is building one, two, which are both family, three and four on the right, is five, six, and seven. So let's walk down the middle and get a feel of how this resort runs. So we're walking down the middle. You can see the rooms on the left, rooms on the right. Here's a wedding gazebo. And the pools run along the side of each building. You can see through here, there's a pool through here. There's the same kind of setup on the other side with a pool that runs all the way from one, from the start of the building, row of buildings, all the way down to the ocean. So it is a little bit different than what you might be used to. Instead of one large resort pool, they have uh, individual pools that run along the sides of each building on the perimeter of the resort. Here's an example of one of the pools. You can see it runs in front of the building and there's a pool bar at the end of the pool. Now they do offer swim out rooms on the first floor where you have your own cabana and you're literally right on the pool. But the pool can be used uh, by anyone in the club section. The children are only allowed to be in the pool that's in front of building one and two, which are the uh, family buildings. But these pools, these pools here are only for adults. Here on this little bridge, you get a better idea what the pools look like. And again, you have the same setup on both sides of the resort in front of the buildings. Here's another example of the adult only pool running in front of buildings three and buildings four. So just to clarify, the only pool that the kids can use is the one in front of buildings one and two, which is the family buildings. Let me show you. This is the family pool, runs in front of buildings one and two. All right, so now you've seen the pools, let's go down and check out the all-important beach. So right down at the beach, you'll also find the uh, seafood restaurant. Seafood restaurant at night, uh, light breakfast, light lunch during the day, but this is open air, no reservations needed. And that's much more casual than the other restaurants. As you can see, there's views of the ocean. 
now as far as activities, most of them seem to happen during the day down at the beach and then at night at the plaza area. Let's pick a volleyball game right now. And those gentlemen in the red shirts and women, uh, they're kind of like the animation crew. They kind of get people going. Now, once a week, that same animation team will set up a foam pool party. This one was in the family pool in front of buildings one and two. Now, you may be wondering about how many bars are down at the beach. There are probably about uh, three bars down here at the beach. And again, it's all inclusive. And the Majestic has uh, top-notch liquor. So just ask for the stuff you like. And as you can see, it's beautiful white sand, turquoise water. You want to get married at the beach, this is the place to go. Walk down the aisle. Now the beach is a little shorter than it used to be because of erosion and I'm doing a whole separate video about that. In that video we walk from here all the way down to the Hard Rock Casino and Resort and you can see all the erosion. And sometimes there is seaweed but today's actually pretty good. Oh, and parts of the beach are restricted to adults only. So the families are limited to a smaller section of the beach. Most of which are seen as the adults only beach. And there's plenty of chairs. Of course, this is all included. Just gotta get down here early so you can get a spot. To find a spot, you need to get down by 10 a.m. or earlier. And let's not forget the Water Sport and Dive Center right here on the beach. Some of the equipment is included with your stay. Some are rentals. I did see people going out and actually scuba diving yesterday. Um, but come on over and check it out. I would talk to them if you're interested in stuff like this. Uh, definitely worth coming over here and uh, talking to the people at the shack here. So that completes our quick look at the Majestic Mirage here in Punta Cana. I'll be doing other videos too, specifically about the restaurants and also about walking the beach. So uh, until next time, safe travels.